Hey guys, welcome uh, BNC Outdoors. Um, <clears throat> I thought about doing a little, um, kind of a little shotgun review um, of a new little shotgun that we got recently. I know if you saw the last uh, video, we were testing out some 410 shotguns with some TSS. Um, they didn't do quite as well. We're gonna do some retesting on them probably. They didn't do quite as well as I'd like. So we ended up buying a new 410. Uh, that we're real excited about. Just wanted to give a little review on it. Um, I've seen a lot of reviews on this type, this exact model of shotgun, but not in this gauge, not in the 410. So what we have today is the Hatfield SAS semi-auto shotgun um, in 410. And like I said, I saw a lot of reviews on YouTube so far on this shotgun, 12 gauge, 20 gauge, 28 gauge even. Uh, but I've not came across one of the 410. So I'm going to give you a quick uh, little uh, review on this thing and kind of let you check it out and we'll see, um, see if it's any good or not. All right, so what I want to give you guys first is kind of uh, the best detail on the shotgun that I can uh, for those of you who have not seen it or ever even heard of it maybe. Um, but it is the Hatfield SAS. It is a wood stock, um, you know, plain Jane. Got some probably machine checkering on here. Aluminum receiver, uh, says SAS on the side of it. This is a 410, uh, has a three inch chamber, so you can shoot two and a half and three inch shells out of this shotgun. Um, it's kind of a thin little foot pad, not that you need much of anything for a 410, uh, but pretty straightforward. Uh, comes with a pretty decent little fiber optic side on there. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Real barrel. Uh, pretty cool shotgun. Interchangeable chokes. Uh, that's a that's a biggie. And that's actually the reason we bought this uh, gun so I could get a turkey choke for it uh, to shoot some TSS out of. So uh, we're real excited about that. It comes in the box with three interchangeable chokes. Um, it comes with a full, a modified, and an approved cylinder. They come with their own little carrying case. Um, got two in here, got one in the barrel, and they come with their own tool. So that's pretty cool. Um, these guys are tiny. Man, I've dealt with 20 gauges and 12 gauges my whole life. <laughs> and choke tubes, but these guys are tiny. But they uh, look pretty cool. Uh, put it together. Uh, they come with two plugs in the pack. Let me grab those. Comes with your owner's manual. Uh, warranty card. It's got a one-year warranty. I uh, already registered mine. Uh, it comes with two of these type, a black and an orange one. Um, the orange one will only, uh, will not allow it to chamber another round. So basically you can't put any in the tube with this. So basically you can just put one in the chamber, uh, shoot it as a single shot. Uh, and it comes with a black one that is a little shorter um, and actually to get it to chamber two three inch shells i actually of the black one the shorter one i actually had to cut an additional about a half inch off um, and that will allow it to hold two three inch shells and two two and a half inch shells but not three two and a half inch shells so that's pretty cool something if you guys get something like this you might have to do as well shorten it up a little um, my first impressions is that it's a little rough. Every review I've read about this shotgun says that it takes a little, uh, quite a few rounds through it to kind of get it loosened up and it's no different with this one. I've not shot this one yet, but I'll show you what I mean. I want to let it go. It kind of sticks there. Give it a little forward assist. It flies shut. So just a little rough on the internals just some rough machining marks and that kind of thing I think that'll work out after a while um, this part right here I mean this is a cheap shotgun so expectations weren't very high um, has a little bit of slack in the fore end here um, and it's tightened I mean it's tightened all the way down it still has a tiny bit of slack but nothing that you can't really work with it's gonna be a hunting gun it's gonna be a beater banger my kids are probably going to scratch it all the heck, but uh, Bentley and Colin, as in BNC, outdoors. <clears throat> so, we'll take it apart here and I'm going to show you the, the plug. 
plug. Here's the plug. It basically just sits down in there like that. This is the black plug I was telling you about. Like I said, cut about a half inch off of it. Just flatten it out. Comes part, spring, action, bars here. Uh, you know, it's pretty straightforward. It's just like any other semi-auto, basically. Comes right apart. Does have a decent, nice little little barrel here. Um, like I said, I've not had an opportunity to shoot it yet, but hopefully before the end of this video, we will have the opportunity to test this thing out. And hopefully, eventually get us to testing out with some turkey loads, some TSS, and with a turkey choke. I ordered a Carlson's TSS turkey choke for this little gun, waiting for it to come in the mail. This one uses the Beretta belly, belly, Beretta and Benelli style thread chokes. So that's what I ordered for it. Um, and, and basically that was just me researching the internet. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you one more thing. You might not be able to see it on here, but there's a slight little crack right there. And it came home brand new that tiny little crack in it. It's hard to see right there. You can kind of see it. It's got a little crack in it. It's uh, it actually does run the length of, darn it. It runs the length of this thing. Um, I don't think it's gonna compromise anything. So I actually, I threw a little super glue in it. Um, but like I said, cheap made, not expecting a whole lot. But even still, I mean, it's a 410. I don't expect it to, the pressure or anything from any of the 410 loads to really blow it apart either. So I think it'll be fine if I shoot it a couple times and it, it does anything, it comes on apart, then I will, I've got a one year warranty. So I'll send it uh, back to the factory or have them send me a new one or whatever. Um, one more thing here, it does, uh, this little hatch here has a lock on there. You can pull that back, locks it into place, forward, unlocks it. Like I said, I just want to show you this again. Kind of last again, but if you do it quick, it will go into battery. Um, standard safety on the side of the trigger guard. Uh, trigger guard's aluminum too. Um, all in all, neat little shotgun. Um, We'll get to do some testing on it, so uh, just uh, hang tight for a moment, and uh, we'll shoot this thing. It's raining outside right now, uh, but by the end of the video and a different day, I will test this thing out, kind of let you guys see it, see what's up. All right, finally out here, it's a nice day to get a test out this little Hatfield SAS 410. I got the full choke in there right now, the factory full choke. Uh, I have a target set out here. First thing I'm going to do, I've got a target set out with a two inch uh, dot on it. First thing I'm going to do, and it's at 16 yards. So, first thing I'm going to do is obviously I'm going to just kind of pull, I'm going to check the point of aim. So, I'm going to just pull up, shoot, point, shoot, pull up, point, shoot. Just kind of want to see if this thing is, you know, its point of aim is true. Um, and then we'll uh, and see how it cycles. And right now, I'm using a Remington three inch um, number five shot, 11 sixteenths ounce, 1135 feet per second. So, let's see how these do. Let's see how they cycle. See if this thing shoots the point of aim, that kind of thing. Loads good. So let's test it out and see what happens. Oh, it jammed. Oh, nope, it didn't jam. Well, it the bolt stopped, kind of how I showed you earlier in the video. Just needs a little push. It's gonna take some a lot of loosening up, I believe. 
two shots. Let's go. Uh, that one cycled fine. Uh, of course, it didn't have to bolt another one in. Let's go see how this looks. Oh, wow. Point aim is actually really good. So check that right there. It's slightly high. Um, but I feel like for a full choke and for a 410, um, I kind of like, and considering this is kind of going to be a turkey gun anyway, I kind of like it to be a little high. That way, turkey's head is here. I can aim at the base of its neck. We'll say this is the base of its neck. I am going to mangle its head. So uh, I kind of like it shooting a little high. It's probably at 16 yards, it's... It's shooting two inches high point of aim, maybe, something like that. So not bad. I like that. It's promising. All right, now I'm going to test and see if it will cycle a two and a half inch shell. So here we go. Okay, it stayed open again. Just needs a little lovings, I guess. It's really stiff, obviously. It'll, it ejects very well. It's just placing that next round up into the chamber. That's the hard part. All right, Colin here, he's gonna shoot. He's just gonna shoot at a paper target over there. And um, so this is a two and a half inch load. We tried it, we've shot a few times now. I'm gonna see if it'll cycle one back in the chamber. So, um, be, just kinda pay attention to the this right here. All right, call them whenever you're ready. Put you right on target and pull the trigger. It's on safety. Okay, here, I got you. Right, okay, go ahead. That was a miss. Was it? Yeah, I think I missed. Okay. As you can see right here, it's still gonna need some loosening up. Almost there. It eject the last one. Just that light it just won't go in. Just a little bit. Alright. Bentley, here go. Alright. So here goes Bentley. It's all safety. Okay, take it off safety. All right, so I gotta show you guys something. Uh, me being a reloader and all, as you can see. Um, I've got a set of calipers laying around on my bench. Decided to check this out. Um, this choke, just out of curiosity, and full choke is what most people would use for just about everything in a 410. Uh, so I put the calipers inside the 410, and my understanding of a turkey choke for a 410 is around 380. Now, I just tested this thing. If you can see that, I got a 373 constriction in this full choke. So, if what I have read on the internet and a 380 is a extra full constriction, then I would say this full choke that comes with it. So, if you get one of these guns, you might want to check it. It may be uh, an extra full choke or beyond. Um, so... I may have ordered a uh, turkey choke for nothing, but hmm, we'll try both. Turkey chokes are specific for the TSS. So I'm gonna screw this in there, and of course we will uh, we'll give this thing a test too. All right, so I got my uh, Carlson's Heavyweight TSS Fitz Beretta and Benelli Mobile Choke Shotguns. This happens to be the exact one that fits the the light glare off that the Hatfield SAS as well um, so here's a look at that little fella this is TSS turkey on it nice very well looking well made looking little choke really nice I like it a whole lot and uh, as far as that constriction goes I've been kind of curious about it myself the full choke was 
373. This one here with the calibers. 378, which is right on with what I had read online. 380 being a turkey extra full kind of chokes. There's 378 inside the Carlson's here. Um, so we'll test we'll test both of them out, see how they do. And this one may be a much better made choke. It may be more concentric, that kind of thing. So it may it may put the pattern in a better location, no high low that kind of thing. So uh, we'll see how see how they both do. All right. So next test. We're gonna do is I have the factory full choke that I showed you in the video that is a 373 constriction. Um, I'm at 38 and a half yards right now. I got an apex 13 16 ounce number nine shot. So we're gonna see how it does on a turkey head target out here. Okay, so here we go. This is actually I've actually changed my position. I am at an exact 40 yards right now. Full choke, 373 constriction, Hatfield SAS. All right, let's, let's go check it out. All right, so here's the target. Looks like we got a couple of kills on hits. Maybe four? Not nearly as impressive as I'd imagine. Um, it appears I think there's a few little holes down here. You know, one, two, three, four, but I mean, they're spaced out a lot. Um, looks like I had a good little bunch to the left or to the right, but they're not that great either. And I got little clumps of them up here. You can see the big, that's the number five lead, and this is the number nine. TSS, they're a lot tinier. But they're a lot uh, more spread apart than I would have expected uh, with that uh, choke constriction. So what we'll do is we'll put us another target. I'm going to put it down here on the bottom. It's a little cleaner down here on the bottom of the target right there. And I'm going to do the Carlson's with one of the Apex TSS. All right, so we're all step back to 40 again. I've got the turkey target on the bottom this time. That is where most of the shot is from the previous couple shots so i just put a white piece of that target there over it just so that if it were to shoot really high or something i would be able to see where the shots were let's step back to 40 and try out the carlson's all right so here we are got the carlson's in there man it's a long looking little fella in it so we're gonna try it out again apex tss number nine at 40 yards of course you can see colin and bentley back there playing on the rocks that's what they like to do here we go, 40 yards with the Carlson. All right, the Carlson's, like I said, it could be just because it's a better choke, but it's much more impressive. That is a 40 yard with a extra full Carlson's. And I mean, that's a beautiful pattern. You can look, I mean, it is centered on the target. There's a few holes over here, a few up top right here, but overall the, the majority of the target or the load hit right there in that 10 inch circle. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I got at least 22 in good kill zone looking areas and that's at 40 yards i mean that's that's pretty good so even though the full choke had a tighter constriction i'm gonna guess that the quality of that carlson's is a little bit better a little more concentric so it shoots straight i held right here dead center and i mean that pattern is right there where it's supposed to be i am very confident um very impressed. I'll give you a little better close-up of all those little holes there. But I think that is definitely the combo that we need to use. 
come turkey youth season and maybe even adult season for myself, who knows?